Hey everyone, so today's video is hamster life hacks. So the first life hack is to put your food in jars. It just keeps it much more fresher and way easier to use and stuff like that. So I have Missouri Mountain Mouse Pellets and Sunburst. So what you can do is you can just put your food away and only use it when you need to refill your jars. It just makes it much more easier and fresher. Next one is to use toys around your house that you think hamsters would like. Like this is an old toy for like toy hamsters and stuff, but it could also be used for real hamsters. You just have to make sure to wash it thoroughly and dry it thoroughly. And here is what it looks like in the cage. She loves going through it. She never chews on it. If she does chew on it, you would take it out. Next life hack. So the next life hack is to free roam your hamster, because obviously free roam, you want to free roam your hamster, but you have to make sure you do it in a safe place. So what I do is I put her in the bathroom, and I make sure all the areas that she can get out, I cover it up with either towels and stuff, and I make sure the floor is dry, and she loves free roaming in the bathroom. So it's like the perfect place because it's small and easy, you just have to make sure there's nothing on the ground, and it's the perfect place for them to free roam. And as you can see, she was trying to get out. So you just want to move them and then try to block off the area to where they don't go in it. And if they do want to look, let them look, but just don't let them, like, escape, obviously. Next life act is if your hamster doesn't chew. So what you want to do is you want to get a chew. And then here's a quick transition right here. Bring it to your kitchen. And then you want to get some peanut butter. And then you want to spread the peanut butter on the chew. And as you can see, there's a lot of peanut butter on there. So what you're going to do is you're just going to scrape it off just like this and then they have pretty good taste buds so they can still taste it and they have really good sense of smell so they can smell it really good and then they're gonna want to chew on it so then you just put it in their cage and boom so that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want a part two like bye